what is everybody doing? Wednesday evening, not much else going on. No more football. So I thought I would just stop by and give you guys a little insight into my new Adrenaline Signature Series Lux. So let's see if this works. We have oh, a little tech, tech mat cam so that I can show you guys what you'd like. Hey, Gassy. Hey, James. How are you doing? So ask away if you guys have any questions whatsoever, if you'd like to see anything whatsoever. In fact, let's go for, hey, Julian's in. Let's see, does that bring audio back for you guys? I think me deleting that little screen took the audio away, so apologies. I love the thought of everybody playing with their speakers though for about 10 seconds. So milling wise, check this out, I'll do my best to kind of rotate it so that the light catches it at different angles for you. Because all the time, you see something slightly different. Thank you guys for the heads up about the audio, by the way. I appreciate that. Hey, Pete, how are you, bud? Long time no speak. So, a few little things. Now, many of you will know about the adrenaline trigger and refer to it as the fang trigger or the snake tongue trigger. My significant other, Joe, saw it and said, that's a really cool dolphin tail trigger. Yeah, Gassy has actually seen this firsthand at the ECPL. So he got to get a little bit hands on. Let's see if I can give you guys a good look at the, the bolt cap. Little adrenaline logo on the back. Can we get that into focus for you guys? Let's make the super shiny. I've not yet got the voice pack installed, otherwise I would love to show you guys that. Let's see, does that catch it better? Just too shiny. Yorkie man! Get back out and play. ECPL is ready for you, 10 Man Classic, bud. Speaking of 10 Man Classic, this is obviously the electro frame installed. I can power it up and show you guys all of the jazzy doodads. There we go. OK. 
okay but what you also get is this super swish bag LP the mech frame does indeed come with wooden grips little Nicky T logo on that side big Nicky T signature on this side and the rubber grips or at least my one did the milling is absolutely insane how do I get rid ah there is a voice pack with my voice so I've actually sent all the files to James so I'm sure at some point he will provide details of how you guys can upload that to your Adrenaline Luxes. Me or the gun, John? I just don't know. The gun, I do know really. Can I play with it for my birthday from Raphael? Yes you can of course you can let's see what other questions we got coming in fact shall i show you guys a quick electro to mech frame changeover so the only other thing you need with the mech frame is the mech valve here i'm going to do my utmost to keep all of this in view first thing you have to do is remove the bolt assembly by lifting the tail, sliding it out. It's a little glimpse of what's under the hood, so to speak. Love it. Love this. Pete, the man to speak to is James Grayley at Adrenaline. He can hook you up. Ah, uh, the tech mat doesn't come with the marker, Christian, but the tech mat is available to buy from Adrenaline. I think there's something like 25 bucks. So to take the electro frame off, you need to slide this switch back. So the front frame latch and then you need to lift this latch here and push that all the way forward. Once you've done that, you can pull the electro frame off, release the solenoid clamp, pull the solenoid out, the electro solenoid out and you can tell it's the electro one because it's bigger and it's also got the little circuit board at the bottom. Locate mechanical valve bum, bum, bum. in here and it only goes one way because it has to latch in this is where camera angle gets sacrificed for function so once that's in close the latch grab your mechanical frame line things up push together, pull the rear latch down and lock into place and then slide the front latch forward to lock it. Bolt assembly back in and you are good to go. Yes, sir. I shot it, but not in anger. Unfortunately, the weekend that I got it coincided with ECPL, European Classic Paintball League. So, um, I've not yet had a chance to properly play with it. How rare are they and how many were made? I think about 495, 500 were made in total of this platform. But to the best of my knowledge, there are only five or six of these. So super rare. Did I choose the color? I did indeed, Joe. I This is pretty darn close to what I asked for. In fact, Blizzard have knocked it out of the park. 
I absolutely adore it. And I thought the pictures were awesome. When you see it in person though, wow, different level. Uh, James has chimed in, 458 in total were made. And if we're lucky, James can probably confirm how many of this signature series got sold, if he's caught up with his messages yet. Liam, are we ever gonna see you back playing for a team again? I don't know. Other than the rushers, um, playing ICC and stuff like that, I really don't know. I'm having way too much fun organizing and running ECPL events. So at this moment in time, I got no aspirations to, to really go out and play again in the sense of, you know, super regular. To me, it's super important to keep ECPL going and growing. And I might actually give you a bit of an update on that in a little bit. So what else would you guys like to see? So electro frame, in fact, with the electro frame off, I might be able to give you a better look at the trigger. I love all the little attention to details. The profile of the trigger, the, the fact that it's so heavily milled on the back to take as much weight out of it as possible. Laser engraving. Does it have swappable trigger frames, electro mech? Yes, it does indeed, Dave. Super simple. Undo the front latch. Take the bolt assembly out. Oh, bolt assembly out. Undo the back latch. In fact, so simple. I may as well show you. And just put the electro frame back on. So, release the back latch. Slide the front latch forward. There we go. One frame off, Dave. Mech solenoid out. Electro solenoid in. Slide that down. Slide the latch back up. Move this out of the way and concentrate on where the camera's looking. Yep, yeah, that is slid all the way back up. Done and done. Easy as that, Dave. So approximately 30 seconds. <laughs> Just catching up on some of the comments. I did kind of commit to the BZ Grizzlies, but I just couldn't bring myself to play with a Trekkie like Chan. Four or five, here's the rarity, four or five Nikki T ones. I know um, Leon from Psycho Pimps. I know Luke has um, got one. I know Nathaniel in Japan. So mine seems to have gone all, all over the world. All over the world have indeed appeared on the Mayhem Tigers roster this year. Have indeed. Hey, thanks, Johan. I don't know if any of these are making it down to New Zealand. So, this is interesting. Yes, many of you, this will be the first time that you've seen these, and I'm sure it is tempting, or a tempting prospect for you guys to invest in. But they're actually completely sold out. <laughs> Where is the other half of Bill and Ted? I don't know what Keanu's up to tonight, Colin. It's been a while since I've done one of these. Um, to say that we only lost audio for 10 seconds, we've done all right. We really have done all right. Um, oh, amazing what you find. ACP, matching ACP barrel tip, um, something that guys can order with their marker. Really enjoying the fact that I've decided to sit directly in the sunlight. Yeah, that's cool. Boom, boom, boom. Theo, you want to see the bolt? No problem at all. 
So just showing you guys the inside of the ACP tip. Put that on that. I'm just going to, in fact, whilst the, the mark is out of the way, let's see if I can give you a close up of the laser engraving. Not the laser engraving. Well, kind of like the, the laser etched wood grips, I guess. Billy Smith, the challenge has been laid down for you. If Billy does it, I'll do it. That is actually my signature. I, I honestly can't believe the job that James does on pulling off the little custom touches. Real good example, by the way, of the attention to detail is the fact that both frames have the ASA already installed. Matching ASA, by the way. Just ridiculous. I love the Met Trigger. Baby snake tongue. I love the little touches of the laser ink on the side of the trigger. I love the sculpting on the back of the trigger. I love the sculpting on the back of the frame. Just getting to grips with the game timer, by the way. It's a Garmin Vivo 4. <laughs> Thank you very much. Albert, I missed you at the weekend. I'm going to try and adjust my chair, actually, so I'm out of the sun. Oh, that didn't work. Ah, oh, I tell you what, I'm going to shut a blind because this sun is absolutely destroying me. <laughs> Who'd have thought we'd have sun in England on the one day that I want to record a video? Gosh, how rude. Ah, Vivo Fit 4, there we go. I've just started playing around with the connect the Garmin connect app today so I'm not too much the wiser yet but there will be a I will do a long-term kind of test and review of this so that you guys can get a better idea of of what it can do Jason that is not a noob question at all and no need to apologize so true technology is my YouTube channel so this is going out on Facebook Live and also shared to my YouTube channel. So I try and put out as much content as I can with regards to coaching, skills, drills, reviews of events, team portfolios, etc. So check it out. Check it out and see what you like. Hey Zed, how are you bud? Hope everything is good over on the island. Luke, I bet you can't wait. Ah, oh, Theo was asking about the bolt. Sorry, my apologies, I got sidetracked by myself. Let's have a look. Katie, hey. So Katie is the real owner of Leon's marker. Let's see if I can get. Trigger is amazing. Amazing to look at, phenomenal to shoot. F16 bolt, let's see if I can get all of this apart for you. Here we go. There you go, Theo. I did shoot it over the Chrono and it was ridiculously consistent. So whilst I've not played an actual game with it, I did shoot it over the Chrono. I'm gonna be taking it down to Mayhem Essex. Not this weekend, but next weekend. So if any of you guys are down there, or in fact, if you see me at any event and I've got it with me, and I will have it with me, um, just come and ask. Take it, to, take it to the Chrono, take it out for a shoot. If, you, if it works out and I don't need it and you want to play a game with it, then be my guest. That's what, that's what I've got it for. So get hands on, experience what an adrenaline marker can do, and then make your mind up if you want to get on board and join the club next time round. Ben, still want an end of era jersey and head. 
whatever you need, bud, message me and we will get that taken care of for you, bud. Let's have a look. Let's catch up. Theo, everything inside this marker is an upgrade in my opinion. I'm going to have to upgrade my blinds in my house, but that's another, that's another discussion. Looks stunning. The milling style is in my taste, but I admire the precision behind it and the engineering involved. Looks very similar to the Infinity Pump Anno-wise. Colin is what we call in the UK a connoisseur. Colin will change his mind about the milling when he sees it in person. I guarantee you that. Mech frame. Bum, bum, bum. I believe that the mech frame, this is where, this is where James can really chime in. I believe that the new adrenaline mech frame is potentially compatible with the X. Well, having to buy a TM40 is not a bad thing, no. Wayne, how are you, bud? We need to get you back out playing some classic paintball. Now, here is testament indeed. Pete is probably, and he won't mind me saying this at all, I hope, probably one of the fussiest guys in paintball. And if something could be improved upon, he doesn't hesitate to tell people, which I love about him, absolutely love about him. Pete has a, a quest for perfection and demands it from everything he chooses to buy. So for Pete to compliment this is credit indeed and absolutely love that he is so vocal about his feedback. Ah, oh, bad news now. You gotta buy a TM40. Sorry, Jess. Jess's Neil's other half. So, good question, Jason. My involvement with adrenaline is I've known James for a few years now. Met him, I think ICC 2019. He's always looked out for me with anything he can do to help myself or the, the rushers who I was playing for at the time at ICC. And when the opportunity came up for to have a discussion about how I could help him with the latest platform, we both came to a really cool agreement that saw me be the only adrenaline athlete outside of the USA. So I got super lucky, super lucky. <laughs> ah, dagnam it. Jess is tuned in too. Sorry, Neil, you may have to buy two TM40s. Yeah, this doesn't fit in the subtle milling category, but it fits firmly into the talent to produce, achieve and anodize it. Let's see what else we've got. Did you have input as to what you wanted the market to look like? No, so the only input I had was the anodizing. The, all of the milling was predetermined by Adrenaline and all of their production run shares the same milling. The laser engraving is unique. So you have the Adrenaline serial number on one side and then you have the, the Nikki T serial number on the other, number one for moi. Um, the back cap on all of the Adrenaline athlete markers is gold plated. That's only for the adrenaline athletes. If you were lucky enough to snag one of these, your back cap would be matching the color scheme of the marker. Do make your own luck. Oh, I did design the grips and the serial number logo, but that's about it. That is about it. Adrenaline knocked it out of the park with the milling. Absolutely knocked it out of the park. And it's really weird as well because for the past four or five months, I've shot an amp exclusively and you get used to the size and the weight of the amp. And then to, to be able to 
just opened the box, picked this up, and for about two seconds, it felt wide in the hand. But then, as soon as you become accustomed to it, you're off to the races. It is light as. And I think I really, really can't wait to get out and start drilling with this and doing clinics and letting people use it so that they can compare how it sits with the tank on. It's ridiculous. It's the literally the perfect length for me without a reg extender installed at all. And on my on my shockers, on my old shocker and my old Lux, I was used to go for a longer setup with this. It's it's so natural, it's ridiculous. Comes with 14 inch barrel and stainless 687 insert as standard, Freak XL, of course. Oh, here's a good question for you, James. Any chance of the mech frames being done in raw? Interesting question from Pete, because I'm assuming he's got to buy a TM40 first for his mech frame to go on. So here's a little wider shot of the gun with barrel on. Try and get you guys. A better. Oh, there you go, Pete. I'm assuming you guys can all keep track of the comments on your individual feeds, but just in case you can't. So, first run of mech frames for the TM40s are already done. But James is saying that if they do another run, there's a chance they could get some raw ones. So there you go. Hey, Pete, another Peter. So Peter from Psycho Pimps. The best way to describe the difference from the Adrenaline CVO to the Adrenaline Lux is to let you shoot them both, bud. Completely different platforms. This is the softest shooting marker I've ever had the privilege of owning. And I'll go as far as saying, this is the best marker I've ever bought, hands down. Jason, yes, I think I'm the only guy outside the USA that has my own signature series. So the plan is to get this into as many people's hands as possible. So genuinely, if you see me at an event and you would like to try this out and have a shoot, please just come up, have a chat. I will be more than happy for you to take it to the crony and have a shot or a loader or or a pack full of paint whatever you guys would like um, and if it fits in with the schedule and I'm playing and you want to use it for a game I'm super happy for you guys to do that too super happy I like it's all the little details that I love absolutely love trying to get you guys as many different shots of the anno and the milling So, no, not all of the back caps are gold. It's only the adrenaline athletes that get the gold back caps on their markers. If you are not an adrenaline athlete and you ordered one of these absolute stunners, then yours, your back cap will match the anno of the main gun. Unfortunately, this little thing called COVID kicked our butt skis when it came to traveling across to the US. So this year we are not going to be at ICC. Fingers crossed for next year though. Fingers crossed. Not the next UK Woodland Masters, but I will be there soon. Possibly going to be at the, the Woods Bowl World Cup. <laughs> James is only joking. Not real 24 karat gold. My kids actually made me laugh. 
because uh, they were looking at this the other day and I was explaining the gold back cap to them. And Thomas, my eldest, said to me, hey, Dad, you should keep hold of that until you're famous. Then it might be worth something. So I said, okay, but maybe one day it will be. Maybe. How quick is it to swap from Electro to Mech? So I actually done it a couple of times already, but certainly don't mind doing it again. So remove the bolt, lift the back latch, slide the front latch, electro frame off, release the solenoid clamp, take out the electronic solenoid, put the mechanical valve in. And actually this is the bit that I normally fumble the most. Locate it, lock it, mech frame on, back latch down, front latch forward, bolt in, done. That easy. So I reckon about 30 seconds, 45 seconds for this goon, but 30 seconds for someone like James. Once upon a time I was famous. Once upon a time. <laughs> Johan, he'll never actually believe you. He's made up his mind that I'm just his dad. That'll do me. That will do me. So, this is the Adrenaline Signature Series Lux. Whilst you guys are gawping at that, would you like, oh, sorry, I missed a comment here, Theo. How's the shot difference from the amp? I would say actually softer. Um, it did not come with the ACP tip as standard. So this was a perk that James very kindly treated the adrenaline athletes to. So matching ACP tip, he also very kindly treated us to the tech mat, which makes a perfect backdrop for this video. Oh, this is all good. Undoubtedly, my COVID hair was more famous. Undoubtedly. So, let me give you guys some inside info from the ECPL. As we've got the Adrenaline Lux in mechanical mode here, ECPL is a classic league that I run in the UK. This is actually the first time I've announced this info, so... You got the exclusive. Oh, Cheryl is here. Um, Mayhem Essex will host the final event of this season on the 2nd and 3rd of October. That event was, up until recently, unnamed, but I'm delighted to announce that it will be known as the European Classic Cup, the ECC, and is going to be held on their brand new Hyperball field and at Moundsfield, um, which we are in the process of revising as well. Two day event, anticipating 14 teams in it, but could go up to 18. So it is time to jump on in if you want to be involved. We're going to go old school. We're going to have mixed prelim divisions of pros and ams so that you get to strut your stuff and do some giant killing in the process. And that's on the Saturday or the prelims. And then on the Sunday, it's going to be um, finals divisions. Also... There's a few other special announcements, but I think they're going to come in the following weeks. Hey, Tafty! Essex, is that France? Very close to France. 
So hopefully going forward in future years where we don't have travel restrictions, we'll start to get some French, German and mainland European teams over. Mr. Burton, that's a hard no. <laughs> hey, John, hope you keep him well. Look forward to catching up soon. John could be a great paintballer. He just needs to play paintball. So, winding down, anything else you guys would like to know? Um, if you guys are in Europe and need any info about adrenaline, by the way, don't hesitate to message me. If there's something I can assist you with or you want to get, you know, mech frame or anything that adrenaline are doing, let me know and I'll be glad to assist. I know James is the only adrenaline employee and completely swamped at the moment so anything i can do to give him a lift and help get correct information out there i gladly will I'm going to be shooting some videos with this over the coming weeks going to get some barrel cams on I'm going to do a ton of clinics with this so if any of you guys are coming to those feel free to grab it take it out for a few games and let me know what you think. Superb. Well, thank you guys for tuning in. Wow. Fastest 36 minutes, 58 of my life. Um, thank you for tuning in. If you've got any questions that you think of at a later date, hit me up. If you need any info, let me know. And thank you, most of all, to James and Adrenaline for this wonderful opportunity. Take care, guys.